Fun fact about the current version of Final Cut Pro is that it's but that doesn't matter because it has some important fixes we need to talk about. In this video, I'll show you the current version of Final Cut Pro as of January 2023. And at the end, I'll share three essential steps it takes to update to the current version of Final Cut Pro without getting those pesky red error screens. Vominos. So the current version of Final Cut Pro is 10.6.5 and it was released on October 24th, 2022. There weren't any new features, but there were a lot of fixes. Now Final Cut supports faster exporting of H.264 and HEVC on Macs that have Apple Silicon processors. I'm all about making faster videos, so that's sweet. They've also fixed some problems when disconnecting an iPad set up as like a second display to your computer called Sidecar. I've never used Sidecar before, so I've never experienced this, but I think it's kind of cool that you can use your iPad as a second display to your laptop. They've also improved editing when you're on a MacBook that has ambient light sensors. Those are the sensors in the keyboard that detect when it's getting darker and then they light up the keys so you can see where you're typing. Apparently those were causing some issues, but I've never had any problem with it and I have a keyboard that lights up. They also fixed a problem with importing photos from the browser. So if you go to Final Cut Pro and click on the audio photos browser and then click on photos, you can import pictures directly from your photos app. Here I was in disguise at a youth activity the other day. I don't use the photo browser often to import images, but when I do, I've never had any issues with it. So there's no new features. It's all bug fixes and the last time that there were new features added was 10.6.2 and then major update was 10.6 when they added motion tracking to Final Cut Pro which is so awesome and the cinematic mode to use with footage shot on special iPhones. The general response to this version is it's a minor release and the main purpose is maintenance, fixing some problems and just maintaining Final Cut Pro. Most people think a big or more major update will come out when they release some new computers. Compressor was updated at the same time, it's here on my right, and it was updated to 4.6.3. It just had some minor fixes as well. They've added more support for HEVC, also known as H.265, and they also fixed some issues with previewing transparency HDR videos. They also updated Motion, which I use a lot to create plugins, and that's on the left over here. They updated that at the same time to 5.6.3. They made some stability and performance improvements, whatever that means, and then they fixed some unreadable buttons in the program. Hey, are you enjoying this video? Do you know what current version Final Cut Pro is now? If so, and this has been helpful, will you please give this video a thumbs up so other people will find this video? That would help them out a lot. Thank you. So with every new version of Final Cut Pro comes new requirements. The most current version of Final Cut Pro requires Mac OS 11.5.1. It also requires at least four gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes if you're going to do 4K editing, 3D titles, or 360 degree video. Now, I have some recommendations on RAM. If you're just doing light work like email, you know, editing documents, or streaming videos online every once in a while, and then editing occasionally, go with eight gigabytes. It's more than the minimum, so it gives you some room to grow. Now if you're doing heavy work like regular video editing or graphic design work or you're regularly editing 4k video or you work with vector graphics a lot I recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now if you're doing massive work that means full-time video editing or filmmaking or full-time graphic design or if you're doing 3d modeling then I recommend at least 32 gigabytes. You need at least four and a half gigabytes of disk space to install Final Cut Pro but that doesn't include your storage for your project. If you're doing light to modeling at work, I think a hard drive of 512 gigabytes is fine. But if you're doing heavy work, then I would go with at least one terabyte hard drive and get an external hard drive to store stuff. Get solid state drives. They're so much faster and they're totally worth it. Okay, so you know what the current version is and you don't have it and want to update. No problem. 
I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. First, I have three tips. Tip number one, back up Final Cut Pro and your libraries so you don't lose any work. Also, do your best to not update in the middle of a project. When Final Cut Pro gets new features added, it could break some of the old ones and you might be stuck with a broken project. Tip number two, try your best not to update in the middle of a project. Tip number three, don't get stuck in the past. Don't wait forever to update and be several versions behind. Finish your projects, get into a good spot, back up, and then update to the current version. To update the app, go to the Applications folder and find Final Cut Pro. Right click on it and select Compress Final Cut Pro. It's a big app, so it's gonna take a little while. Give it some time. Create a folder and name it Final Cut Pro, and then the version number. So I'm at 10.6.5 and press and press return. All right, now when it's zipped up, drag and drop and hold down command to move it to your backup folder. All right, now let's back up our libraries. Go to Final Cut, select your library and go up to File and select Consolidate Library Media. Make sure Original Media is checked and select your media destination. I like to save my stuff in a library altogether. You can include optimized and proxy media that will make the library bigger. If you need to save space, leave those unchecked and you can always regenerate those files later. Then press OK, then go to the Movies folder on your computer, select your library you wanna back up, and then just Option, click and drag it to the new location. All right, now you're ready to update. Open the App Store on your computer, and go to Final Cut Pro, search for Final Cut Pro, and it'll have like an update right there. And then just click on the update button. You can also turn on auto updates in the App Store, and that will keep Final Cut Pro updated all the time, and you don't have to worry about it. Now remember, I said don't update in the middle of a project, so you might have some problems there. I have it turned on personally, and I've never had any problems. In the App Store, open up Preferences, and enable automatic updates. So now you know the current version of Final Cut Pro, which is 10.6.5. I made another video I think you'll like. It's called How to Make a Slideshow in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.